everybody, welcome and welcome back to the Sonya Lene channel where you will be encouraged, entertained, and a little tickled. Now before I get started, go ahead and show your love by smashing that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already because it's totally free, okay? So go ahead and do that. Now today we have a wonderful topic. We have a great topic, actually. I think it's wonderful. I think this topic today will help us to deal with our stuff, y'all. We got some issues that we need to deal with. We got some loved ones that we need to hug their necks and apologize to and all kinds of stuff, okay? So today, the it, the uh, topic is settling your issues. I got to slow down, y'all. I'm a little rusty. Y'all know I was sick. I was out a little while, but I'm back, okay? So let me, let me slow it down. If you catch me looking down, I'm looking at my notes because I did write down some things that I really, really wanted to point out in this video, okay? Today, <laughs> our topic is settling our issues, okay? We're gonna settle our issues with our family members, our loved ones, our husbands, our wives, our bosses, our co-workers, okay? Our friends, we just gonna, we wanna, we wanna settle the issues, all right? Now, I'm a little bit more confrontational than most people. I love to settle my issues when the issue actually happens. But a lot of us let the thing linger, let people come to you and tell you things, then you tell people things, and, you know, it just gets worse and worse, and it, the problem grows. But if you catch the problem head on, then you'll find out that it was probably just a misunderstanding, okay? Most of the time, it's just a misunderstanding. A lot of times, you do. Don't make no mistake about it. I'm not going to give these people an off, okay? There are people who love the drama, who love to instigate, who love to be in between two, play them against each other, and just sit back and laugh about it, okay? Those people we need to cut off. Those people we need to ignore. Those people need not to be a part of our relationships, okay? All right, so get rid of them. Now, let's start with um, point number one. I want to say discover the issue, okay? Discover the issue. Sit down and have an honest discussion about what the problem is and get to the real issue, okay? Because a lot of times, if you're fighting over something small, there is a bigger issue. The bigger issue could be one person just really going through some stuff and taking it out on another person, and then that other person responds in a negative way, so it blows up, okay? Another issue could be you guys actually do have a bigger issue with each other, but you just fight over little bitty things. Sit down, have a conversation about what the real issue is. And once you do that, then you can come to, you know, an agreement that yes, we have a problem, let's talk about it, all right? Point number two, apology and acceptance. We have to be big enough to accept our wrong in a situation. Um, I've been in a situation plenty of times where I have, you know, given all the evidence, have all the receipts that the person that really wronged me was wrong. And all that person could say, you know, a lot of times they would say, well, you did this and you did this and you did this. And then I'll say, well, no, I didn't do that. Here's what, what, here's what really happened. You know, a lot of times when you got receipts, and I hate that this has become um, a day where we have to always keep things. We have to keep our text messages. We have to keep our um, inboxes. We have, we have to record conversations. It's, it's terrible, okay? I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. That's a part of social media I don't like. That's a part of technology I don't like. I hate that we have to do this. I wish people would just be honest. I wish people would just, you know, deal with their stuff, but they won't. So, this is where we are. So, a lot of times you have to present receipts. And when you present the receipts, they still don't want to apologize. They'll say, well, I didn't like your attitude. It was your presentation. It was the way you said this. It was the way you did that. And even after you say, hey, okay, well, I can, I can own that. I'll apologize for my presentation. But will you apologize for your wrong? Some people just won't apologize. You have to forgive them anyway and move on because that's the way life is and that's the way you can move forward and be happy in knowing that you did your part, okay? 
So apologizing, we have to own it. We have to own our stuff. We have to own our wrongdoing. And, and just because you've done something wrong, just because you said something wrong, it does not make you a bad person. A lot of times we are good people who just, you know, make bad decisions and do wrong things. I have heard so many times, Sonia, you're a good person, but sometimes some of the things you say can come off a little mean. And guess what? I own it. I recognize it. Some of the things I say can come off me. And guess what? I'm sorry. I apologize. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. That is easy to do. I don't know why it's so hard to do for some people. Um, I don't know if it's because they have um, issues with, you know, trust where it comes to where, like, if, if you share your real feelings or if you... Uh, show weakness, people will take advantage of you. That's how you feel. That's a that's a mental thing. That's in your own head. I do uh, suffer with um, trust issues. Yes, I struggle with trust issues on a day to day basis. But I have to check my trust issues in every situation that I'm in, just to make sure it's just not my trust issues, or is it that that person just can't be trusted? Because there is a difference, and you have to check that. All the time, in every situation that you're in, you have to make sure that it's not you. And then once you realize that it's not you, then you confront that situation in that manner, okay? Now you know you can confront it right because you know, okay, this ain't me. This person is just trying to play me, okay? So we have to own our stuff. We have to own our stuff and apologize and say we are sorry because we can hurt people. We can hurt people and we can hurt people really bad. And you just never know what a person is going through because people don't just walk around every day telling their business. So we have to be careful how we treat people. But here's the thing. We won't, we won't have to apologize so much if we would just treat everybody nice. Treat everybody good. Now, we are human and we make some mistakes. That's when we apologize. You shouldn't have to apologize every day. If you do... That means that's a part of your character and that needs to be fixed. But sometimes we make mistakes and we say some wrong things. So all I'm saying is uh, own up to your wrong so that you can apologize and move forward. And then for the people who have to accept these apologies, accept them and move on. I cannot stand for a person to say, I accept your apology. And then they walk away and they talk about you so bad and they act like they still really hurt and all that. If you still hurt from it, then communicate that with me. Communicate that with the person that hurt you. Don't accept their apology if you don't really accept the apology. Because you can't keep make, making a person pay for something that you decided that you wanted to forgive. Okay, so if you're on the acceptance end of the apology, be real and accept the apology and, and move forward or not. Okay, it's your decision. Nobody can tell you that you have to accept someone's apology because you don't. But if you decide that, you know, you want to move on from this and you want to accept their apology, you have to accept their apology and stop making them pay for it. Okay, all right. Point number three is. The sea of forgetfulness. Now, I want to say this. You can never unknow or unsee a thing. But you can extend grace and let go of the past, okay? So you can't unknow it. You can't unsee it, okay? So the sea of forgetfulness, uh, Forgive and forget, uh, I, I'm, you know, you can forgive, but when you're hurt, when things have caused you pain, when people have caused you pain, when people have, have broken your heart, it's not easy. As a matter of fact, it's almost impossible to forget. You can't forget. You can't, that, because you can't unsee it, you can't unknow it, and you can't unfeel it, Okay. Those are just things that happened and you have to make up in your mind that you want to move forward from it. Then you want to extend that person the same grace that you would want someone to extend to you if you had done something wrong. 
So you want to extend the grace and then you want to let go of the past move into you know because if a person is really sorry if a person has hurt you you've expressed to them how you feel and then they decide you know what i never wanted to hurt you so i will never do that again and they want to change their behavior then you have to move on from the past now some people will say that and then they will hurt you again and again and again and again that means they're just an expert at apology but they're not willing to change so at some point you got to make a decision that that person is detrimental to your life and you have to cut them off it's okay to cut people off it doesn't make you a mean person it doesn't make you a horrible person it's okay to cut people off because you have to care about number one your health your well-being you don't need to be stressed your life needs to be productive. You need to be doing great things and living your best life. And if you can't live your best life with me in it, then you need to cut me off. Because I'm not doing a good job at being your friend or being a loved one or being somebody who claims to care about you. Okay? So, forget. I'm not so sure about that. We're not going to forget. Okay? We're going to forgive. We're going to extend grace. And we're going to move on from the past. Okay, we're going to let go of the past. Now, point number four, rebuild and reconnect. Okay, remember what brought you together and make sure it wasn't built on a lie. That's, that's part of it. Okay, so if it was built on a lie and you decide, okay, now we're going to sit down and lay out the truth so we can move forward, then you do that. But... You can't continue a relationship that was built on a lie and it's still built on lies and it's just going to pile up more lies and lies and lies and lies and you're going to waste a whole lot of time in your life, okay? So remember what brought you together and make sure it wasn't built on a lie. If so, it's time for a new solid foundation. Build another foundation. Start over. Hello, my name is Sonia. What's yours? Okay. I think you're a beautiful person and I would really like to get to know you. Okay, why? Because I don't know you. I thought I knew you, but I don't know you. So we're going to have to build a brand new solid foundation. Connect on a spiritual level. I care not what anybody thinks about being spiritually connected. I feel like I need to be spiritually connected to everybody in my life. My mother, my father, my husband, my friends, my family members. If we cannot connect on a spiritual level, and I'm not talking about we have to be, you know, holy rollers in the church, jumping up and down, screaming, how that has nothing to do with the spirit. Okay? We have to be connected on a spiritual level. Okay? Meaning that we have to come together have the same values, have the same uh, moral values. Like we have to be able to have something in common. We have to be able to connect. We have to be, I like people who are fun. I like people who are compassionate because we can have fun all day. But if something happened to one of my friends, then we're going to have to put the fun on pause. Okay. And then we're going to have to be empathetic to our friend. We're going to have to be there. Like, I like people who can be there for each other, who know how to drop things and know, okay, this is a person that I am connected to. This is a person that I love and I want them to be happy. I care about their well-being. Connect on a spiritual level. Okay? Rebuild and connect. Now, my last point. And I'm always going to say this because this is who I am. Now, I am a believer. I believe in God. I love Jesus with all my heart, okay? I may be on camera a lot of times acting crazy and all of that. But at the end of the day, I'm only here by the grace of God. So, my last point and, and, and final thing that I have to say. I'm going to give you a scripture about what the Bible says about settling your issues leviticus 19 and 18 and proverbs 15 and 18 read it for yourself okay 
But read those scriptures and they will help you understand what the Bible says about settling your issues. Because a lot of times, yes, I have a lot of supporters who like, okay, let's just keep it real and have a real conversation. But then I got those other supporters because I'm a church girl and I've been in church all my life. Be like, okay, back that up with the scripture. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to give you these scriptures again. Leviticus 19 and 18. Proverbs 15 and 18. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and read them. I wasn't going to do that. But let me go ahead and read them. I'm going to do that, okay, for those of you who just really need to hear it. And some of you may not go and read it for yourself, okay? Okay, so Leviticus 19 and 18 says, Do not seek revenge or bear a grudge against anyone among your people, but love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord, okay? What I get from that scripture is don't be trying to get back at people. Number one, it's a waste of your time, okay? When you spend your time trying to revenge, trying to get revenge on somebody or get back at people, you're not being productive. You're not moving forward with your life. You're wasting your time. Okay, it says, but love your neighbor as yourself. So basically, love like you want to be loved. Okay, treat people like you want to be treated, not how they treat you. Okay, all right, so that's Leviticus 19 and 18. So let me go to Proverbs 15 and 18, and then I'm done, guys. Okay, Proverbs 15 and 18 says, a hot tempered person stirs up conflict. But the one who is patient calms a quarrel. Listen, when you hot in the head, it ain't nothing nobody can do to make you see realistically what's going on. Because a lot of times, it's just a misunderstanding. But a person who is always turned up, you're never going to get it. You're never going to be able to understand that is just a misunderstanding. You're never going to be able to understand that people don't mean to hurt you. You're always going to feel like you have to be on the defense. And you don't. You don't always have to be on the defense. Okay? So, hot-tempered person stirs up conflict. So, you're just going to keep it going and going and going and going. When it can stop the very first day it happened, the, in, in the first five minutes. Okay, that hurt my feelings. Let's talk about that. You go off, you talk about it, it's over. You deal with it, you settle that issue, and it's over. And now you can go on and join each other's company and having fun. But the one who is patient calms a quarrel. Patience is a virtue, baby. <laughs> You know, keep it calm, keep it cute, and keep it happy, all right? Nobody wants drama, 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 drama all the time. And if you are that person, prepare to live your old age alone. Nobody's going to want to be around you. At some point, people are going to realize, okay, this person ain't doing nothing but bringing the drama, and we don't need that. And then people are going to cut you off, okay? That don't last a long time, okay? Because some people just want peace. Me, I just want peace. That's all. Just a little peace in my life. Happiness, hanging out with my family, enjoying my friends, okay? Enjoying my music and everything else that I'm doing. I just want to enjoy life. I want to live my life to the fullest and i want you to live your life to the fullest okay all right guys that is all i have today i hope that i said something that helped you or motivated you or encouraged you to move forward in your life settling your issues and having good relationships with the people around you all right all right thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit that notification bell if you have not already so that you won't ever miss a video okay don't forget sharing is caring so share this video with everybody and until next time guys you say a prayer for me i'll do the same for you bye bye now